Hello, today we are going to start a new topic named Constraint Satisfaction Problems or CSP. Like the previous topics, informed search and uninformed search, this is also a searching related topic. Before starting, let's recap what we have already covered. The search techniques we have seen so far are of two types, path search and configuration search. In the path search, we are given an initial state, a goal state, and our target is to find a path from the initial to the goal state. Suppose A is our initial state and G is our goal state and there are some other states B and C. In path search, our target is to find a path from A to G. This is what we have been doing using uninformed search techniques like BFS or DFS. And in case of the informed search techniques, we are given additional information in the form of heuristic that specifies which node is more promising, like B or C, which would be better. So this was one type of search. Another type of search is configuration search, where the path to the goal is not important. Rather, what matters is the goal node itself. Let's consider the Four Queens problem. Here, we are asked to place four queens in a chess board in such a manner that none of these queens attack the others. So this is a configuration search problem. Similarly, another example is shown here. A thief wants to steal a diamond. So he is searching for a path that he can use to reach the diamond. Now let's assume he has stolen the diamond and the police wants to get back the diamond, so he is looking for the diamond. This time, how the police reaches to the diamond is not important. Rather, what matters is whether he can find the diamond or not. So this is a configuration search example. The topic we are going to cover today Constraint Satisfaction Problems It is a type of configuration search. It has three components. A set of variables like x1, x2, up to xn. Next, a set of domains that specify what values these variables can take. For example, the domain of x1 is 1, 2. So x1 can take any of this value. Similarly, the domain of x2 is 2 and 3. And the third component is a set of constraints. These constraints specify what combination of values these variables can take. For example, we don't want x1 and x2 be the same. So we can write a constraint x1 not equal to x2. Using these three components, we can formulate CSP like any other search problem. So here, the initial state is an empty assignment which means none of the variables has been assigned a value yet. The successor function is to assign values to the unassigned variables and the solution is to 
assign value to all the variable without violating any constraint. So, the solution needs to be both consistent and complete. Consistent implies that no constraint is violated and completeness ensures that every variable is assigned a value. If we consider the previous problem where we have two variables x1 and x2 and the domain of x1 is 1, 2 and the domain of x2 is 2, 3 and the constraint is x1 not equal to x2. So as we mentioned earlier, in initially both x1 and x2 will be empty. The successor function would be assigning values to these variables. So suppose we assign x1 equal to 2. Next, x2 is assigned the value 3. It can be considered as a solution. Why? Because all the variables have been assigned a value and the constraint is not violated. x1 is not equal to x2. But if we assign x2 the 2, it is not a solution. Why? Although both of these variables have got a value, but x1 and x2 is equal, which has violated the constraint. So that's the basic of CSP. Next, we will look into a real life example.